All right, let's look at this example. We're asked to multiply these two rational expressions. So factor, 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 right? Factor everything you see and then put it together. Okay, so sometimes you might want to take a little room aside to factor some of the harder ones. Like, for example, 3a squared minus 8a minus 3. Uh, you might have to do with the AC method, for example. So AC is 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to give you negative 9, add up to give you negative 8. So that would be negative 1 and positive. Negative 9 and positive 1. So we're going to split the middle. 3a squared minus 9a plus a minus 3. Group these. Factor out the 3a, and we get a minus 3. Group these. Nothing to factor, but factor out 1 times a minus 3. And then the a minus 3 is the common factor times 3a plus 1. Right. So here we have a minus 3 and 3a plus 1. And this one is a difference of squares, is a plus 5 and a minus 5. Right. This one is a plus 5 and a plus 5. Right. And this one, let's do over here, 3a squared minus 14a minus 5. Let's do the AC method with this one too. All right, so AC is negative 15. All right, so we need two numbers that multiply to give you negative 15 and add to give you negative 14, which are going to be negative 15 and 1. All right, so we're going to split this one up. 3A squared minus 15A plus A minus 5. From here, factor out a 3A, we get A minus 5. From here, factor out a 1, we get a minus 5. Then factor out the a minus 5, and we get 3a plus 1. Right, so we're going to write that here. All right, so basically we're smooshing these together. Everything is factored. And now you're looking to cancel factors from the top and bottom. So we see a 3a plus 1 factors. A plus 5 factors uh, cancels, and nothing else cancels. Right? So what's left over on the top? A minus 3 and A plus 5. And on the bottom, A minus 5 and A minus 5. I can write it as A minus 3, A plus 5 over a plus 5 squared, a minus 5 squared. There we go.